it's it guys this is this is our gonna be our last video of all of the campaigns that uh, were released at launch with AOE 2 DE this is the final one that we have left to do so let's do it and it's it's one heck of a scenario the old tiger let's go 1580 AD year 30 of the reign of the Chakavati oh the tiger grows old his hunger does not leave him. It grows with age, driving him to fresh hunting grounds and giving him a taste for more dangerous prey. For 30 years, I have ruled Burma and made a dozen kings bow before me. But what will they say of my life? That I ruled by the sword and killed many men? That I, a king, was a slave to my desire? The old tiger is stubborn, but he knows when his hunger has gotten the best of him. My sons lead the army to conquer the Rakim coast, the gateway to India. They are like their father once. The, great w the gateway to the ICC. Across the earth for their greatest victory. Oh boy. Bainong and Nanda must not fall in battle. Bring Bainong to the four Buddhist temples. At the start, you will not be able to train units, but once Bainong's meditations are completed, you'll have a pop limit of 300. You must be aggressive as your resources are limited. A slow approach will only result in a slow defeat. Oh, you bet. The faster you complete my, uh, Bainong's meditations, the less time your enemies have to train units for the final battle. Again, yeah. And uh, monks with the Agrasi are good. Uh, Bainong's, Bainong's sons, Nanda and Thinga, attack Rakhine, uh, capital of Meraku, from both land and sea. Because the Burmese army is so far from the homelands, their supplies are limited. The Rakhine have stockpiled resources and have time on their side. The longer the siege lasts, the greater the Rakhine's relative strength becomes. The Portuguese command the northern end of Meraku and fight as mercenaries for the Rakhine. Their ports are well defended by bombard towers. Beware their wonder, which has strong defensive capabilities. All right, guys. Father, please seek okay. to allow your sons to fight. You are tired from the long journey. Long is a mile to him who is tired, but short is life to him who is idle. Just ask my villagers. I will go to meditate. You may watch over me. So yeah, you really need to go fast with this one. Attack from both sides at the same time. Because all your enemies have infinite resources, and you don't. So yeah, this one is pretty hard. Like, don't don't feel bad about yourself if it takes you a couple tries to do it. I think this was number five in my top five. Anyway, so we need to bring Bainong, who is uh, an old little monk dude right now. We gotta bring him to all these wonders so he can meditate. But we also need to attack uh, from this side as well. And yeah, again, it's like a matter of destroying production buildings is huge. And your enemies are... You have two Malay enemies. And one uh, Vietnamese enemy. For some reason. Okay, the castle will be going down in just a second. Yep. And again, focus them, their production buildings. Oh yeah, get some villagers, but I really don't know why. I guess it's just to repair siege units, but we don't even have any resources right now. Little by little, 
fills himself with good. Very wise. Is not yet finished. I will Is it go ever? to another temple to meditate on the noble truths. Oh no. The men will protect you on your journey, Father. We'll try. Okay, they have another two castles right here. So be careful not to press too far. There is another Rakhine base right here, but we're going to skip it for now because we want to at least clear the path to Bainong's uh, temples. And there's still plenty of stuff in the way. Definitely a fitting scenario to end our campaigning adventures. Um, where, where is the old man? Okay, there should be a castle right here. Yes, there is. But Okay, we got all those guys. Everything appears and disappears. There is no blissful peace until one passes beyond the agony of life and death. How disappointing. Okay. But yeah, destroying all this stuff now is, not yet is very good. I will go to another temple to meditate. Oh crap, Nanda's here. Get in the castle, man. You don't have control over the buildings yet. So yeah, you want to obviously do the meditations quickly, but not so quickly as to like rush past stuff. If that makes sense. You want to make sure, like, the big thing is just destroying enemy production buildings. And you have a big old army. But obviously, you still need to go quickly. Just take down that tower. Honestly, we can probably start with Bainong to the next temple. This honestly is ostensibly going fairly well so far. Oh, what are you guys all doing back here? Okay, onward and upward. We've almost uh, had our armies group up. I think it goes without saying that you should protect your siege weapons at all costs. This is kind of annoying. Okay, Bainong, get to the top. Stand back, 
craftsmen. Guard the Chakavani while he meditates. Bring the Trebs forward, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are Malay, so they do have uh, redemption. And uh, like hell, you want your bombard cannons converted. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle. And the life of the single candle will not be shortened. Such is the bliss of the way. So insightful. Let's get away from the coast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Forgot about this guy. My journey is not yet finished. I will go to another temple to meditate on the noble truths. One more. Ah. It seems like it's going okay so far. They're attacking our little camp over here, which is kind of surprising. Usually they just attack you, your army. Yeah. Oh crap, I lost one of my bombards. But no, don't go that way. Take out these stocks. Where's my dog? Even death oh, there he is. is not to be feared by he who has lived wisely. Though the flame be put out, the wick remains. Forward! Gajamato, what the hell are you doing here? I will mourn tonight. Today we have a city. Yeah, Bainong is ultra dead. Oh, how is Gajamato teleporting through uh, space and time? Okay. Do not fight for glory. Fight for Burma, our history, and our future. Um. Okay. Okay. Need to get chemistry, siege engineers. So you get this one-time infusion of uh, well, a bunch of resources. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no. You also can get these guys. Holy crap, these guys are attacking us a lot right here. We're going to be making several cav archers. That might sound strange, because Burmese cav archers suck. But we need something to spend our resources on in a relatively even fashion, because we don't get any more resources. I'll rip that treb. Guess we can get architecture and keep. Why not? Oh yeah, I get some monk upgrades. As in all of them. <laughs> Holy crap balls, man. 
guys really want us dead. Anyway, we've done a pretty good job so far of taking out everything except their fortress over here. Which is their main base, obviously. Well, rip that. Also, you need to just use all of your production buildings. Because you, you can't make many more production buildings, obviously. Well, I guess it's not obvious, but still, you can't make any more. Yeah, we'll just have to try and snipe these harbors from the coast, or from inland. The opposite. We are still ultra stuck on this bridge. And also, you don't have a market, so you can't even balance your eco. You can see, like, it, it might seem like you're just given in, like, a near infinite amount of resources, but it runs out pretty fast. You still have to research all the imp upgrades, which is no cheap thing. And you have to just make a huge ass army. And your enemies have real good fortifications. Whoa, you guys are stuck. The thing is, the Burmese army is very population efficient. So the idea is we're just going to get such an overwhelmingly huge advantage that we'll just win before, you're out, before we run out of resources. But it's, it's definitely not easy. I mean, you see how many units they have and how many defenses they have. why we got faith. Didn't I tell you guys to destroy this thing? Crap. Okay, those are all down. So we really did manage to destroy everything except this fortress here. Whoa, you guys are stuck. See why we're making the cav archers. We just need something. And we're still gonna end up with a ton of uh, excess wood. Stop getting stuck! Castle's not destroyed. Yeah, 
Making progress, though. I really wish you could make more production buildings. <laughs> then I guess there wouldn't be much of a challenge. I mean, I suppose you could use your base over here more, but I don't really want to feel I like I don't feel like transporting units back and forth forever. This seems like a waste. Oh, are they deleting? Can't really tell. Yep, perfect. There's one Rakhine down. It's Philippe de Brito in Nicot. Oh, come on, I'm so sick of these units getting stuck. Oh yeah, look at her pop right now. It's a, it's a climbing. I mean, nowhere close to 300, but that's about as good as we could hope for. Here comes the party train. Well, you definitely are living the uh, the full might of the Burmese military here. I guess we don't really have that many Arambai since we only have one castle's worth of production. Enough with the monks. Now our big concern right now is running out of siege units. Because that is a real quick way to lose. And I'd rather not have to do this again. at the Portuguese. Yeah, definitely our biggest problem right now is siege units. I mean, elephants are good, but... Not like pushing into this level of fortifications good. At least not unless we have to. And we kinda have to. I was just sitting here taking damage. We do have Montepor Cavalry to help us out a little bit. Get him, boys!
get that. Okay, we got the other Rakhine. Oh, we got all the Rakhine. So now we just need to defeat the Portuguese. Uh, I don't think you guys can reach the castle from there. No, you can't. Oh yeah, the Wonder has like a bunch of keeps inside of it for some reason. I think the trade workshops make like condos or hand cannons or whatever. But yeah, battle elephants with Monopore Cavalry do deal quite a considerable amount of damage to buildings. So you can you see the arrows coming from it. Can we get on with things, please? Can we get on with things, please? <laughs> okay, random galleons. Whoa! Forgot about these guys. Several more units I could definitely be using. I think they may resign when you destroy the wonder, maybe? Oh, you can see, oh no, they're just guard towers. Oh, and I guess they get destroyed too. And I think that should be it. I think that should be it. I think that should be why is this not ending? There we go. We have conquered a mighty enemy. The greatest victory this day belongs to my father. Even though he's kind of dead. We did it, guys. There's a random Gaia monk over here. Or a couple Gaia monks, I guess, we can get. Didn't know about that. But yeah, I mean, we, I think the big thing is taking down all of the other production buildings so that you can have your final attack just be against this fortress. Because you, you really do need most of your army to take it down against the infinite unit spam. For the last time. My father did not live to see the conquest of the Rakim. The doctor claimed the lung sickness took his life. But I know my father. No man who rode a charging elephant into throngs of Shan archers, who stormed the cities of the Kai, or who ruled an empire not seen since the ancient days would die from a mere cough. No. My father left this world because he chose to. There was only one conquest left, worthy of a man like Bain Yong. I know legends will be told of him. I know old shamans will tell prophecies. But no deed would match his final act. Greater in battle than the man who would conquer a thousand men is he who would conquer just one, himself. How very wise. And that's it. Okay, so the question now becomes, what's next? Uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure. I think I'll, I might do some custom campaigns, maybe get some suggestions 
uh, from you guys. I mean, I'm not going to let the channel go dead or anything. So, um, so yeah, I think custom campaigns are the most likely, and those probably won't be like on a daily basis, but I'd definitely try and get it, you know, at least a couple videos out a week or something. I wanted to get all the campaigns out, you know, relatively quickly after launch. Um, I will still be doing all of my, like, patch notes videos and tier lists and stuff like that, so definitely stay tuned for those. And uh, I'll still be streaming all the time, never ending. So yeah, definitely check that out as well. But for the time being, signing off. Hope you guys have enjoyed.